Right, I'm actually going to use this equation to show you how to find the x and y intercept. I have actually already typed in the equation, so I can actually ask ClassPad to draw it. Right, once you've done that, what I would really like to see is the y intercept and the three x intercepts or the roots. So, in order to see that, we can either zoom out, you can see that, or if you want it a little bit clearer, let's actually set the, um, the scale. So if I go from minus 4 to perhaps I think 6, and then Y minimum, I'll go from minus 8 to 8. Let's click OK. Right, then you can drag it down, you can actually see the X, Y and X and Y intercepts. So go to analysis, G solve, you can find the roots, which is the X intercept. One, click across to number two, click across to number three. All right, so you know you've got the three roots or the three X intercepts. And then for the Y intercept, go to analysis, G solve again, and here, Y intercept, it will give you the value, which is zero eight. Of course, you can actually read it from the equation as well.